Hi guys and welcome to Simply Scuba. Now today I'm joined by Sarah from Girls That Scuba. Hi. Hey. Uh, so tell us a quick, uh, so basically what is Girls That Scuba? Yeah, so Girls That Scuba is now the largest female scuba dive community online. Cool. Um, so basically we're here to encourage, educate and support women in the scuba dive industry because there's not enough of us at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what sort of really inspired you to start Girls That Scuba? Um, it really started first of as when I first became a dive master and I hardly knew any other female scuba divers sure. and I was kind of thinking like where are all the female divers in the world like it can't just be me that has this passion <laughs> and I was like okay right I'm gonna stop moaning about it and start do something about it so I created a Facebook group really in the hope just to find some more female dive buddies that sure. I could dive with um, and you know when it got to like a hundred I was like wow this is amazing I have a hundred new friends I never had before and now we're on 10,000 so That's it fantastic. does seem like there are a lot more female divers out there but there wasn't just a platform before. Yeah now there's more of a community so yeah. you can sort of talk to one another. Yeah exactly. Uh, so what really sort of got you into diving to start with? What was that sort of main instigator? I mean I've always really been into the ocean like I was brought up on the ocean cool. and I was massively into swimming and everything kind of water based so scuba diving kind of felt like a natural next step. Um, but the reason I kind of first started diving was I went on holiday to the Maldives, which I was very lucky enough to do. Mm -hmm. And in the Maldives, <laughs> there isn't really much else to do but scuba yeah. dive. So that's where I did my discovery. And as soon as I got into the water with my scuba kit, I was completely addicted. And there's <laughs> no going back now, 10 years later. Yeah, tell me about it. It's an addictive. <laughs> and it takes you to a lot of different places as well. 100%, yeah. A lot of countries that I've been to scuba diving, I never would have gone to if it weren't for scuba diving. Yeah, exactly. Um, so, um, so yeah, so Girls That Scuba, there's a, a predominant, not sort of vision, but a lot of people think that scuba diving is a very male-oriented sport. Uh, so what do you sort of say about that from Girls That Scuba? Um, it's funny because Girls That Scuba has only been around for a year now, mm -hmm. but if you asked me this last year, I would have given you a different answer. And I sure. would have said, yeah, but it's 100% male-dominated. But as this community has grown and as we're communicating with each other, I actually realised that it's just the perception sure. that it is a male dominated sport. There are yeah. thousands, thousands, hundreds of thousands of women that are involved in scuba diving. But when you look at the mainstream media and the dive equipment, a lot of it is with male models or, yep. you know, they, a lot of the scuba stories are from males. And that's kind of why I think that people think it's a male dominated sport, yep. but I actually don't think it is anymore. No, the industry is slowly kind of changing their yeah. understanding. There are sort of female, I mean, Paddy has their sort of International Women's Dive yeah. Day in sort of June, July sort yeah, of time. Exactly. Um, so yeah, there is that, um, that sort of change in the industry. They mm. understand that, yeah, women dive too. Definitely. Uh, which Definitely. is great. It's a very, I think it's a very exciting time for the scoop dive industry because it has become more obvious that there are more women involved so it's not that, you know, the people don't see it as just a male sport now so now it can be male, female and family as well. Yeah sure. Okay, so where's your favourite place to dive? Where do you like to go to sort of scuba diving? Where's your favourite place? I do have a favourite place. My favourite place is Egypt. Yep. I have to say, and I actually did my open water course in Egypt cool. years ago, and I've been lucky enough to travel to so many different other dive locations, but no, nowhere is ever as good as Egypt. Especially for, for Brits, it's very accessible. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's inexpensive and you get your, you get your coral, coral reefs, you get the large, yeah. and then you get the macro life. The you warm weather, little, warm water, good visibility. A little bit of everything. Yeah, it's um, everything you could want in a, in a dive location. So for me, yeah, it's always... It's always been Egypt. Yeah. And is it sort of Northern Red Sea, sort of Sham or sort yeah. of further down well, south? Yeah, well, I really love like Master Alum yep. around that area because that's where you can, you've got Elphinstone where you can go see hammerheads and then you've got like Dolphin House where you can just swim with the wild dolphins. And for me, it's just everything you could possibly want within the dive location. Yes. But, um, I actually have never tried um, diving in the UK. Yep. Um, but That's where I'm from. So I, so yeah, so I started in the UK. Yeah. Um, I did my instructor in the UK. I used to teach in the UK. I used to teach abroad as well. Mm. Um, but my my first and final love has always been diving in the UK. It's it's more of a feel of not accomplishments, but um, 
you, you kind of have to work that little bit right. harder for it and then you earn it. Yeah. Um, but what I really love is like the Farn Island. So you play with the seals um, just because you don't get the same interaction as you do with a lot of other marine animals. Yeah. Um, in sort of the Red Sea and uh, sort of other countries, you, you kind of look at it and you admire it from a distance. Whereas these these sort of seal pups, they, they swim up to you and they really want to interact with you. So that's what that's I really awesome. Enjoy. Yeah, I really and, want to do that. Um, and yeah, just a different um, sort of community above the water as well. Mm -hmm. um, just because it's it's not quite the same. It's you're kind of at home, but you're still on holiday, but you're in the same country. If that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, sure. Um, and you've got people that are also in that same sort of mindset. They, so would you say, like, what do you feel about the kind of ratio between men and women in the UK diving industry? My usual, the usual group that I go out with. If there are 20 people on, I'm saying at least sort of five are female usually. Okay. Um, it's usually couples that end up coming. Mm -hmm. um, and, um, and they usually work out as a fantastic sort of buddy pair. Yeah. And, um, and yeah, they're just as tough as the guys. Yeah, of course. <laughs> and that's great to hear, but it's still a little bit too small yeah. <laughs> for my liking. I would love it to be equal or oh, yeah. maybe even more females to males. Yeah, so what, uh, what would you say would be a great way of sort of getting more girls into the sport? Um, I definitely think it's a lot about um, encouraging each other because to have um, you know, a community like Girls at Scuba, we can you know, not only talk about things that maybe you don't feel so comfortable talking to a male about, and we can, yeah, you don't get that embarrassment. If some, look, it's fine to say, like, my hair is getting caught in my mask, yeah. right? It's fine to say that, and to each other, it's absolutely fine, but maybe you don't want to say to your instructor or your dive master, if you're learning, sorry, I couldn't do that skill, but my hair got caught in the mask. You know, so with girls at scuba, we can talk about this together. Yeah. And it's that's such an important part of the scuba dive industry is to feel comfortable. Yeah, and as a male instructor, I can honestly say, yeah, one, we have the same problems. <laughs> <laughs> Not all the same problems, but there, there shouldn't be that kind of stigma of, oh, I, I don't want to say something. Yeah, because... absolutely not. Yeah. I, yeah, absolutely not. And that's, that's basically what we're about, is just smashing through stereotypes, stigmas, and coming in as girls at scuba, like a fresh, new community within the, inside the scuba dive industry to just improve and make a positive response. It's nothing cool. about sexism. It's nothing about males versus females. No. <laughs> it's just having a community inside of a community. So what does so what does girls that scuba really sort of do? Is this a community? Do you sort of you chat about decent dive sites? Yeah, so we chat about absolutely everything scuba dive related. Um, definitely along you know the dive sites, dive holidays, um, gear. We do a lot. We talk a lot about gear because this is also quite a a big thing within it, in the industry, yes, we do have female dive gear, but yep. it's just not to the standard that the male one is. So, you know, we can talk about that and which are favourite ones. And mm. So, yeah, like we started off with a Facebook group, but we now have the website as well and on obviously all the social medias. And we've started doing meetups all around the world. We've got cool. one in London and then um, going over to Bali in a few weeks. And we've got one there. They're Hard already life. doing them in America. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we're really pushing on actually um, having a lot of meetups and doing lots of dives together and just keeping that community spirit like it's far more than just a Facebook or an online group it's something that goes beyond that but it's good it's encouraging that people especially when they're not diving when they're just at home yeah um, after a long day at work they go online and they want to talk about scuba diving so that means that it's exactly. in their head it's in their mind so exactly. they want to go scuba diving even if you're not diving sort of every month it's it's good to stay in that something community. to inspire you and you know as as we've said before it's um, scuba divers you have an instant connection to them because you're interested in the same thing exactly and to be talking about all these things that maybe you can't talk to your colleagues about or your friends that aren't into it this is kind of like where we all collaborate in girls at scuba and we can geek out as much as we want <laughs> <laughs> uh, so sort of talking about sort of non scuba divers how would you sort of recommend if you're if you're a girl, you're thinking about getting into scuba diving. How would you sort of go about doing that? How, what what kind of tips would you give for that sort of for that lady? Yeah, I would definitely say go with an open mind. Mm -hmm. Try not to let too many people influence you because it kind of is a thing within the scuba dive industry that people will just throw scuba jargon at you. Sure. And you're supposed to go, okay, mm. yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, don't worry about kind of all of this language and all of the gear and everything because you're just starting off and you're the well, best bit of advice is just enjoy it. Yeah. And just enjoy what you're doing. And if you have a passion for that, 
then that's when you can kind of go into talking more about the gear, but in, enjoy the process. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, the gear, the gears, you, you'll get the gears that are given to you as a student. Mm. And then as you sort of grow, you progress uh, into buying your own equipment, then you can start sort of researching. Yeah, and, and that's exciting. Buying your own equipment is really, really exciting. Yeah. But so is doing your discovery in an open yeah. water course. So don't try and have all your excitement in one go. <laughs> <laughs> Once you're addicted to scuba diving, it lasts for the rest of your life. So spread the excitement out. <laughs> That's it. Uh, so what, what sort of piece of equipment would you recommend for a girl? If you're just sort of starting out, what would be your sort of first picks? Yeah, I mean, a lot of people ask us that within Girls at Scuba. You know, they've just done that open water and yeah, it is very tempting to just go out and get all of the gear, but I absolutely recommend not to do that. Yep. You know, there are some pieces of gear which would you know, would help you along the way. Um, you don't even have to have any gear, but if you want to and you feel more comfortable, I would definitely say a well-fitted mask. Yep. And you have to go in and try your mask on before you buy it. Do not buy definitely. it online. <laughs> Come fit it and see if it works okay. It fits on your face. Um, personally, I like having my own wetsuit. Yep. I just think it's nice to have your own wetsuit so you're not using dive centers, wetsuits. You know how clean it is. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, you know, maybe some fins. If Maybe if you're, if you get cramped quite a lot, it would be quite good to have your own fins so you know they they fit okay. And yep. But really, I wouldn't say anything too more. Nothing like, major. No, nothing major at, at the beginning, no. Yeah, just when you're starting off, a lot of people, as you say, they, they jump in and they sort of buy everything mm. and they realise it might not it be fit, or... yeah, the right thing for their career. Because right. you're just starting, you need to take your time and learn what kind of scuba diver you're going to become. And then... Sort of yeah, and as I said, it's, it's really exciting buying gear. So, you know, just don't do that all at once. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's it as far as questions. Uh, so let us know how people can find Girls at Scuba. What's the best way to get to you? So we are on Facebook. It's a private Facebook group, and it is just for females, unfortunately. Um, so you can request to join the group. We just type in Girls at Scuba on Facebook. Sure. Um, but we also have the website, girlsatscuba.com, which is obviously open to everybody. And there we cover lots of aspects of in, in the industry. We do gear reviews. We do dive locations. We also do fem female-specific kind of problems or questions, answers. Um, and then we're obviously on Instagram, Twitter, and we also have an open Facebook page, all at Girls at Scuba. Sure. But, and if anyone wanted to come to the meetup, it's on the 28th of September in London, and we'll link the event below. So as many women can come and join and talk about scuba diving, meet yep. more women in the industry and just have a good time. Cool, fantastic. Well, thank you very much for joining me and best of luck with girls at scuba because you just cracked like 10,000. We just got 10,000 yesterday, oh, so later. sky's the limit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that's it for today. Thanks for watching guys and of course safe diving. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like, share and subscribe. And if you want to see more like it, hit on that bell icon to become part of the notification squad.